or refrigeration compressor from someone I don't know what happened here I don't know what they had what's done if this is manufacturer or not anyway something was stuck here obviously and pulled it out um, there's a number here TP111 AR022 I don't know I guess that's refrigerant probably uh, 22 I don't know who knows um, that same number is here with a E8 behind uh, it's made in Brazil um, 115 60 150 uh, some serial number here that's gone something here that's gone I tried turning this and well the oil came out so there's some oil here and there's some oil from this port that came out uh, pretty much is dead uh, I tried making some connections on this here yes we're getting about six ohms across one of them eight ohms across one 14 over the other two seems to suggest the coils are good i don't have a start capacity to really properly test this um don't know what's the start and run um but not least in coming as i thought you know, i would expect at least some movement so i would suggest that there's probably a mechanical failure something stuck so i'm going to cut this it would be a lot easier if i put it in the face and then it and cut it's like top gap um, weld it cut over into a bottom room and just weld it probably gonna cut right here it would be easier as I said if I put it to the side but then there's gonna be a ton of oil the oil probably isn't gonna come off very easily um, but it, yeah, I could try to decant it but that's probably gonna take some time and probably still is gonna drip so I'm gonna try sideways if that doesn't work then I'm probably gonna try decanting the oil. I doubt it will catch a fire. Mm, it may. But that's gonna be a small fire anyway. So I'm take a hand right now. Rip this around, open it up and see. It's been about twenty years since I've opened one of these. So yeah I kinda have an idea what's inside but um hey it's dead. Got some free time I might as well. I tried cutting at the lip is basically this is the thickest location so you know one piece is overlapping here one piece is inside the welded on the top created a seal so sounds like a good idea and I thought well maybe if I have to join this back for any reason if I want to use back this container it would be a nice spot to just drop this back on and well because it's thick it's not going to burn through ah this is proving to be a little bit more challenging and I'm starting to consider well I just cut on top of the weld here and ignore this and well ignore training attempt to use it back it is i knew this was a risk i knew it up front but sometimes you could get it just a little bit better so you take the risk and try the things exploratory cut and it's reasonably deep um this will take a lot of doing you really took a lot of disc uh so even though i've already cut all the way around a reasonable depth maybe easier just to go with this i'll lose less this i'll finish faster so abandoned your approach despite great effort it still took most of this 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 is gonna go much more past there before it's kind of useless because as you can see the head is only so much you could really cut based upon the diameter so we're starting to get in so we've pretty much Pride it open so let me open it up and see and we'll get back to it having got this i am most surprised at the gauge of this metal this looks like about 316 i'll check it probably but this is significant this is heavy i didn't think i thought the weight was actually many copper coils um really good decision to abandon this cut here at this point and go for the top. I really didn't expect it to be this thick. Uh, I thought it was just the metal flaming when you cut so that um, the thickness I was seeing wasn't real thickness. It turns out it was. Uh, you know, when you cut something the metal flares in and you think it's thicker but really it's just a little flakes like this that is giving me a wrong impression. Um, this thing seems to have a heat and coil or some sort of spring. Maybe a heat and coil. I don't know. A fairly significant motor. A really annoying smell with the oil there's something leaching out I don't know if it's safe um, cast and punched numbers uh, I assume this is balanced somehow 
Um, that should be quite interesting. This is not what I recall when I opened one 20 years ago. It was a lot smaller. Um, this was a lot thinner. I cut up with a hacksaw between my feet. I had no vice, no anger crying all the time. This was, you know, clamp it between your feet and cut up with a hacksaw. So clearly it wasn't this size, otherwise that would have been a little bit of a problem. Um, but yeah. It, this is significantly different. I guess the designs have evolved quite a bit. So um, now I'll just have to start tinkering. I'm gonna have to cut out some of these things as you can see. This is joined here and goes around there. Um, along the way I had to trim off this because the disc got so short that uh, this was bouncing and stopping the anchor from getting in. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting things in this. Let's get going. So, broken the edges up of this, I'm definitely going to use this for something, can't figure out what. This here, top, was you want to center on this, to keep it from going too far, it isn't really constraining heavily, but it's constraining from moving too far and touching the sides. Um, and this is the base, as expected, I expected it would have been sealed and just punched out from the other side, so that's what's going on there. Um, four spring loaded, one spring fell out and these are the other springs right and what they basically do is vibration isolation um the oil really looks dark actually um when it's dripping it's really decent it, it, it isn't dark it's very light colored i'll probably fill that into a container but the other side don't think i have a use for that um i don't think it's probably wise to use it too without understanding how the refrigerant what kind of oil it is and how the refrigerant um you know impacts upon its properties what remains in it may not be the best idea to try to reutilize that anything but just the more basic of things as expected these things are braised in so there's one here there's one here and then this is the one here it's easy seen where it's braised in so those are the three uh, things um what else right just quickly looking at this this spring here it is not actually oh i'm gonna make sure that doesn't fall on me right that spring here is actually not a heater as i previously thought it doesn't connect it electrically to anything it really is just a protection for the wire so what they've done is just slip that on um put a piece of plastic that was there before and that constrains it and if it vibrates and rubs against it it wouldn't damage it the steel is protecting so there's nothing into that here and this is a significant this is a very beefy motor this is a very very beefy motor the question is whether i can get this to run if this can run it can be reused and another purpose this is a cleaned up you see amazingly how nice it cleans up yes i expected the rust but now with the oil all gone the amount of metal particles inside here it's no wonder this thing failed it seems like a lot a lot of wear so we got to this now this is all cleaned up, I just broke on, so I'll find another use for this some other time. Right, not sure why they have two of these, not sure what they are. This looks like this is discharge. Uh, two ports it looks like, we'll have to crack that open and see. Uh, eccentric, um, well, something like a camshaft, so it was the piston to go in and out. So, motor, shaft, turn, piston going in and out and therefore this looks like the suction side it looks like they have a filter or something inside here and then this would be the chamber the compressor and the valves so i'm gonna pop this out and pop this open right, just a quick one the cylinder is actually spinning very easily so it shouldn't be a problem and they have a little tab well it here I'm not sure what it does but this thing moves up and down not sure why and this still tab i don't know to agitate the um, oil maybe who knows this is the top of the cylinder some location holes not too bad not sure what this is uh, figure that out matches up with that which is a hole with some oil um looks like almost like a reed valve i haven't tried to see they get this to move uh, yeah that's reed valve there this is actually just the residue build up uh, yeah makes sense but, um so there's a reed valve there this apparently is really stuck on with some kind of glue they use the clips i broke out both clips and they use it to hold it in place while the glue sets 
you can see a yellow mark there and well it looks like this isn't gonna open I don't know what kind of filter material I have it'll be some synthetic material anyway nothing too fantastic so straight hole coming in from here straight down into here into this revolve and yeah so let me see what I can get if I can get any food out but um yeah, it doesn't look too bad anyway when we put on the arm um, when we spin and we look at the compressor it's pushing up and down this hole so right i take it when it has this suction this depresses slightly and goes when you have the compression this would seal and it would come out through i would assume one of these ports um right that lines up with this here so i guess it goes through here and comes out through yeah i guess it goes through here and comes out through these two ports which would then line up with these holes coming in here and this is the other two ends of this bell shape thing uh, well who knows why it is this way but okay so that's basically the approach looking a little further it's really only one hole and that lines up with this one so essentially under compression it comes through it goes to this hole goes down through here goes down through the first one comes in here goes through this cup here comes across here and then goes into the second cup and through out the arm the discharge line that's an interesting system there must be a reason that they decided to go through this way i don't know what it is but yeah it goes through a long convoluted part to get out this is just clean up cleans up really nice nice smooth finish fairly polished um i would expect that to get a good meeting service because it does not actually have a sealant um that said it's within an entire um, you know, atmosphere of um, refrigerant gas so i didn't expect that i really needed one so i don't know if this is stainless steel uh, it looks like stainless steel this looks like it's just casting um but yeah so i'm just gonna put it back together it cleans up pretty nice what a black gun came out, what a little residue came out. So yeah, I'm just gonna sample back now.